Hey everybody! We're back with challenges. I lost the Suicide King challenge last time because I am an idiot. But this is Cat Got Your Tongue. We're Gupster, but we can only attack via flies. And Guppy's Hairball. Don't forget about Guppy's Hairball. How in the world can we lose this? I'm not even... <laughs> I guess we... Ha! Ha! We got it! I'm not even trying to be, like, overly cocky. I actually am just a little confused about the conceivable ways that this run could end in a loss. I guess one is, early, we fight bosses who are too tough to die to, like, six, uh, flies. We got pretty lucky that that actually worked for us, even though it turned out to be garbage. And then we have to use Guppy's Hairball to deal damage, and, you know, life's in a terrible spot there, uh, I suppose. Yeah, like, like right now, for example. Okay, never mind. I completely understand how we can die now. Um, he got melted. We're extremely lucky. I actually thought that might be the end of our run. <laughs> I've never had like a... I've gone from 0 to 60 and 60 to 0 in record time. We... Uh, I was like, how can I lose? And then I was like, oh wait, there's literally no way for us to win. But there is a way for us to win. Um, we just have to spin around really fast and use Guppy's hairball to land some shots. This is our moment! Oh! Look at that, it worked, it worked. Okay, so we need to make very good use of our flies. Ideally, if we could also get any other orbitals, I'd be extremely happy. And this is like a bit of a big ask, to be honest, but if we could somehow get um, other orbitals, I'd be real stoked. If we get Sack Dagger, we win. In, in my opinion, at least. I also said that there's no way we can lose our last run, and then I lost. Now, I did take, arguably, maybe, like, one of the top five worst items to have with My Reflection and Ipecac. I mean, My Reflection is already one of the top, like, three worst items to have with Ipecac to begin with. But then, you know, to add in uh, a little Loki's Horn action might have been a little overkill, but... Dude, it's my favorite Men at Work song, so I'm gonna try to pay tribute to it whenever possible. Let's go. Oh, dude, first off, I'm getting a, a cramp in my hand because this is the most exercise I've gotten in, well, honestly, years. But I'm also getting into a sick, and that's sick with two C's and no K's, flipping rhythm here. Look at this. It's like I, you know, walk without rhythm and you can't attract the worm, you know what I mean? Black Powder is actually like a 10 out of 10 get for us. So I'm going to continue to explore here. We only have to go to Mom's Heart. This is like the easiest uh, game of our lives right now. Uh, I actually hate you. I don't want you to drop HP. I want you to drop a key. You did not drop a key. Why do I want a key? Well, we have 29 cents, but we can't go to the flipping shop. What am I supposed to do with 29 cents, but no shop with which to deposit my, uh, my money into? I mean, not even deposit, because that implies the donation machine. But, you know, to, to, to use. Other things that would be sick. I'm trying to think, do we get, um, oh, that was so bad. If we use, ooh, black market, please. If we use flies to kill enemies and we have infestation too, do we get spiders out of our enemies that have died? I'm gonna guess that the answer is yes. I know if a spider kills an enemy, you don't get them. But why wouldn't a fly give you the the spider from infestate? I hate, dude. It's not fair. Thank you. I I don't see why not. I guess. Oh, we got a real orbital. It it's. I mean, I don't need to tell you that this is harder than it looks because most of you out there have probably gotten. Real Platinum God for yourselves. But this is a tricky challenge right here. Starting with Guppy is obviously, like, outrageously good. I should probably be using, uh, Black Powder a little bit more than I am. But I'm also scared. But now that we have Orbitals, dude. I'm not saying I'm the cop who can't be stopped, but I am pretty jazzed about this whole situation. Oh, my Lanta. I also wouldn't mind, you know what would actually be swell right now? And I say swell now because I am uh, I was born in the 1950s. Um, what would be sweet 
would be if we could get a, um, wh what's the, is it toilet paper that causes your, your orbitals not to rotate anymore? That would actually be like a 10 out of 10 way to make this run pop like a, like Dr. Pimple Popper. All we need is that exact trinket and nothing else. <laughs> no, no, nothing compares to number two. Dude, have you ever watched those Dr. Pimple Popper videos? I know that everyone goes like, ooh, gross. And it is gross, because you're watching a doctor, like, excise blackheads that have existed in a person's nose for, like, 20 years. It's, it's gross, but I think it also speaks to... There's, like, there's some universal objective truth in Dr. Pimple Popper videos. The reason they're entertaining is because we're, like, hardwired to want to resolve tension. So you see this blackhead, and you're like, that blackhead's got to get taken care of. You know, that sebaceous cyst has got to be removed. And then it gets removed, and you go, ooh. But you leave the video knowing that the world is a better place because of the fact that that cyst no longer exists. That was really lucky. Um, we're taking so much damage here. To be fair, fighting a lot of enemies who explode... Makes it very difficult for me to sneak in there. I'd rather take damage at this point. I can't believe we got out of it. But I'd rather take damage at this point than, um, than use my bomb. The bomb could be ten times more precious. I really think that, you know, in, in fiction there's like twelve different, or four, by twelve I mean four apparently, uh, different styles of conflict, man versus man, man versus himself, man versus nature, I always forget the other one, man versus the unknown or something, um, man versus game of course, uh, probably shouldn't spend so much money, but I'm gonna, cause I want that spirit heart, that's like man versus nature, right there, because we've all been in that situation, we, oh, the prom's tomorrow and I got a zit, and then to watch Dr. Pimple Popper, Excise that evil from a, a person's body is just a lovely experience. I would recommend it. I don't I don't spend my nights watching popping videos, but uh, I understand their <laughs> their intrinsic value to society. So I'm being real dicey here. But I'm re being real dicey for two reasons. One is I want the blood bag, and I want it like a lot because the speed allows us to use black powder more efficiently. 1.3 speed is not quite black powder level, like, happy to be using it, I guess, is what I'm trying to suggest. It's doable. We can make some tiny circles with black powder, but, you know, we're not... Nobody's getting rich off black powder here, is what I'm trying to suggest. Oh, dude, be careful. The other reason is because the money is still useful for us when we go to the shop. Oh, we've done it. We've very, very mildly done it. I think when Guppy's hairball hits enemies, it generates flies. You know, I'd have loved going through the game uh, again because I'm learning new stuff like that all the time. I had no idea that Guppy's hairball had any chance to generate flies. Please just die. I'm in like, oh, you... T Why? Why would you do me like that? Haven't you heard the Tom Petty song? The Tom Petty song goes, don't do me like that. You've done me like that. Pheromones. It might surprise you, but I'm, I'm still not that perturbed by this situation. Maybe I should be. Definitely I should be, but like... I'm, I'm, I'm not that scared. Dude. For reasons that should become abundantly clear. You're about to pay out, right? Nothing. All right, maybe stay on three HP for now. You've learned your lesson to some extent. Probably lucky to be alive. But challenges kind of absolve you of mistakes in some way because you're like, of course you're gonna take damage. We're using uh, Guppy's hairball to hit like every enemy on the map. Now, what we probably actually want to do instead, and we were so excited to get orbitals, why did I ever stray from this? But um, what we should probably do is just use ball of bandages to do like some hidden runs here. We do have uh, old bandage as well, which I didn't comment on, but is actually a really good pickup for us. 
as a result of its ability. Come on. As a result of its ability to keep us in the game after we take some silly damage, which happens fairly regularly. My lord. Uh, I mean, we do want to check it, and we don't want to check it. It's a constant, you know, duality of our existence here. Oh, dude. Only when you start doing this run do you realize how many enemies in this game want to explode and ruin your life. We got to be very careful. Again, I know this is probably like the ideal room to use bombs on. I'm choosing to avoid doing that because our bombs could be precious later. Is that a misallocation of resources? I don't know. Ask the freaking treasury department. I have no idea. I'm just I'm just the on-air personality here, okay? That was really really good. Now, I haven't touched on it much cuz I've been looking for more cutesy or or glamorous kind of like finishes here, but um the one of the best things that we could actually get is just more damage, which is why I'm very excited to be using uh this is a terrible uh fight from a, the perspective of not wanting to take any damage. I'll just leave it at that. Um, thank you. Old, old bandage. You've done it. Um, he's done it. It was so worth taking damage just to finish that off. And we've done it. We got some HP. We gotta go to our shop here. But yeah, more damage is just really good for me because it means our flies have the chance to kill enemies before they kill us. Before the enemies kill us, not our own flies. That would be betrayal of the highest order. Let's go. Now, again, our bombs are pretty precious, so... For me to use two of them... I got very lucky. <sighs> I got very lucky that they were, um... They paid dividends, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. And I'm also gonna continue to be a little bit of an idiot. We did get a speed upgrade via Magic Mush, but, like, why not go a little bit deeper here. I already misused one of these hearts, but I'll grab the other one. Go down to one. Not even one and a half. Just go down to one. Then we play these guys. Like, uh... What am I trying to say here? Uh, a blood bag would still be really nice. IV bag, not so much. I guess the other thing that we could do is try to stand... Oh, so bad. Try to stand in front of enemies and let Guppy's hairball tear him up and try to use that to generate more uh, more flies. I don't know. Either way, we, we only came down here because we wanted to go to the shop and mission accomplished. The shop does not have greed. As a two of hearts, which could save our run. Moving box, which I think is basically garbage for us in this unique situation. And we'll use a bomb to get into our secret room, which is going to contain... Uh, possibly some trinkets, spirit hearts, etc, etc. Depending on how we play our cards right here. Oh, wait, dude, honestly... Dude, it's a trinket we asked for! No, wait. Yeah, it is! I got it wrong. It's not a roll of toilet paper. It's duct tape, but still... I thought that said get dusted. It said go outside. So we have uh, actually a fairly easy win right now. Um, and it, it comes down to the simplest thing you could possibly imagine. Not the sun. Also good. But we basically are just going to use the Emperor card. And this is looking like it could be a two challenge video. The rare two challenge... Yeah, just walk right into that. The rare two challenge video. So what's the game plan? It's actually so simply even a child could understand it, which is good because I'm going to have to explain it. Um, we're going to beat this floor, ideally, uh, and then we are going to use the Emperor card, and we are going to basically walk into Mom's heart, on, or uh, Mom, until she dies, and then we have won the run. So that's the idea, at least. Potential, I, I'm... Pitching this like it's a Kickstarter or something, but pot potential concerns? Well, we don't have a ton of HP. So if things start to go wrong, they can, they can go wrong pretty quickly. I remain not fully convinced about duct tape, despite asking for it specifically by the wrong name. Um, 
It, I think it is easier to hit enemies with duct tape, but it also requires a, an adjustment to previous strategy. But I think the cat got your tongue challenge is going to go down here. And this is one of the harder ones, so I'm, uh, I wouldn't say overjoyed with my performance, but I'm feeling fairly good. Okay, just let the flies take these guys out. We want to be at full HP by the time we leave this floor, so just, I mean, that'll basically do it. I will use a bomb here. I will use a bomb here. Please, Lord. Okay, that's really good. We're going to almost certainly, oh my God, be completely fine. War fight. Just dust him. We got way longer invincibility than I would have expected. Now this is Black Powder's time to sh- What?! He did like evasive maneuvers. I've never seen that. He stood still. It was the greatest bait the world has ever pulled. So we got a second level Bandage Girl. She will actually shoot, but it's mostly irrelevant because, uh... I know what I'm doing on this run at this point. We're just getting the heck out of here. And that's gonna be one more thing unlocked. Is it a guppy item? You get a guppy item for Cat Guy Your Tongue? Look at that. The damage is real. <laughs> oh, the foot's coming down. Yeah, 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 we did it. Okay. Now let's jeopardize it by possibly doing boss rush. Grab this, check it out. Boss rush, what do we got? Nothing of value, nothing of value. Sorry to say, that's the end of the cat guy, your tongue challenge. Oh, Alge's quality rune. Alright, so that was easy. Demo Man. Starts with Dr. Fetus Remote Detonator. Seems easy enough. Dude, the challenges are really fun. Not all of them are 10 out of 10, but now that I'm like mainlining them, it's good to remember most of these challenges were worth doing at least once. Some of them, like, um. What's like Computer Wiz or whatever? Tech Savvy, is that what it's called? It's like a little too easy but still oh geez mostly they're just like a, a challenge run is basically like a cool Eden seed for most of these like starting with Dr. Fetus and remote detonator that's essentially being Eden and getting some cool combos here so uh, I wouldn't say I'm the happiest camper you know I'm just because I feel like we're not guaranteed to win here but you know, we're in a good spot Bombs are key. Mostly irrelevant. Actually, like, beyond irrelevant, because we don't need any bombs. We also probably don't need any keys because of the fact that there's no shops. Or, sorry, there's nothing but shops. So, in all likelihood, uh, you know, we might end up using three or four keys for shops, and then the rest are just, like, golden chests if they exist. We need the money, though. Why not? We need the money! Stave off poverty. This is the song that you sing when you're trying to evoke images of the 1920s. That and Camp Town Races, sing this song, dude. Uh, I was so happy when people tweeted me and they were like, there are comments on Camp Town Races on YouTube that are uh, like, oh, I was born in the wrong era. They don't make music like this anymore. You can go back to like Gregorian chants, I'm sure. Not that there's recordings of like real era specific Gregorian chants, but you get the idea. You get the idea. Okay, double key room. Steven! That's like a high quality item room. Thank you very much for your service there. I don't think... I Like, let's perform a little... There's gonna be a pop quiz, Hotshot. Dennis Hopper in speed style, okay? What are the ideal items for us right now? That are specific to this challenge. The answer is every single bomb synergy. I would love to come across every bomb synergy that's ever existed. Uh... Now, hilariously, the one I don't want is the one that's here, and that's BOGO Bombs. It's actually not bad, because it would allow us to get some use out of Remote Detonator. It's just not necessary in the least. Um, and, and probably not worth paying for. Because the odds of us wanting to put our own bombs down on the ground are pretty low. So let's see if there's any deal with the Devil Synergies that work here. You gotta go Jark Dudus, is the rule. 
I don't make the rules. That's a lie. I'm basically the person in charge of making the rules because I record these alone in my office, away from the cold realities of planet Earth. So I can pretty much come up with whatever, whatever arbitrary rule set I'd like to. The virus, I hate it. <laughs> Stop! I, can someone insert hand clap emojis in between every word that I'm saying here? I want the correct kind of emphasis. Stop giving good items speed downgrades. Say it louder for the people in the back. That's right, I'm on Twitter. I understand the way that people say messages on Twitter. You say once more for the people in the back, you use the hand clap emojis. We have like four runes, so there you go. Yera. This is like probably one of the first ten runes I've gotten on this save file. That's exciting news. Until we have 15 cents, I'm not gonna feel much of a compulsion, honestly, to... to slow down, like milk every little bit of the value we can get out of this, go to the shop, etc, etc. I apologize, it shouldn't seem like I'm just trying to steamroll these runs. The fact of the matter is, most of these runs start a little stronger than average, albeit a little weirder as well. Um, but they also don't go as far as the average run. So, uh, if, it, if it seems like they're going quickly, I don't necessarily disagree. That's why we're trying to fit in two per episode whenever plausible. Alright, we're on Flooded Caves 2. This one goes to Mom's Heart, so it's a, one of the slightly longer ones. And it's looking good. The fact that we can come back with uh, with Dark Judas is a big benefit for us. We have a Hagalaz rune, which is actually like straight up garbage. When we have unlimited bombs, there's not much purpose for a Hagalaz rune. But it does give me the opportunity to bring back a meme that's been dead for like 10 years. Good news, Hagalaz rune. Still holding out hope one day I'm gonna wake up and just be able to sing. <laughs> Hasn't happened yet. Every once in a while I get one note, and that's uh that's a miracle in and of itself. Ooh. I like these odds. Look at that. I don't actually know what Dear Science, the fourth album from New York City-based collective TV on the radio, does for us in the whole scheme of things, but I'm gonna take it regardless. With, with bombs, I should say. I don't know what it does. HP? Nope. I think it's like a myth of chess boxing that uh, blowing up blood banks is more likely to give you HP than blowing up like a slot machine, for example. But I, I hold out hope anyway. It, it's in keeping with the theme of the, the item. Now, can we find a shop? I've been ignoring shops like this whole time. Just like I've been ignoring schnapps for my whole life. It's just, oh, there it is right there. We just don't consume that much schnapps in North America. It's a very European drink. We're more of a Jenkum crowd up here. Now. Just keep moving. That's right, I've been on the internet for a while. I know what Jenkum is. Can't get one by me! So the real value of the virus is something I haven't even touched on, like, at all yet. Um, and that's the ability to get demon hearts out of it. But I'd rather just never take damage if possible. Obviously, that's a little bit of wishful thinking, but... I don't trust the virus to pay out as much as we're liable to take damage. Dude, I actually lost my mind there. Yeah, I, I messed up the Gertie dodges. I fought Gertie probably, like, closing in on 1,500 times. To take any damage against Gertie makes me a very sad man. Makes me question what I've done with my life. But then, you know, as soon as we go to the next floor, those questions will be washed away and I'll move along here. So we're roughly, at this point, halfway through this run. This is a... There's only some challenges I remember this distant from having done them the first time. This is not one of them. I'll just level with you. And it's because it's very much on the easier side. So now that we got the Yara rune, we can... Oh, that was pretty bad. We can remember some Yara strats. What are good Yara strats? It's a great question. You see what I'm trying to do with the virus here? I would never recommend this in a million years. Unless you're as stupid as I am.
Um, Yara Strat, I mean, usually you wait to use Yara until the chest, which we are not gonna... Oh, that was my bet. Which we're not gonna achieve on this run. It just will not exist for us. Dude, that's a bummer, because I thought I was a genius for what I was doing there. Turns out, I'm actually a fool. You just fart right off, mister. Dude, it's a double d tinted rock. Let's go. Okay. In another universe, that gave me like four demon hearts, what I did with that temperance card. But you know what? That universe also uh, never got a second season of Arrested Development. So let's just be happy in the universe that we live in. It's surprisingly uncruel some of the time. Two bombs. I don't... At this point, what do I care about bombs? We don't have, we don't need two bombs because we have unlimited bombs. Bombs burgers. Great show, never seen a full episode. Lock upgrade. Another rock tinted. Another spirit heart. That's not gonna be a secret room. I'll probably just pay to, like, I'll pay my HP to go to the room. Relatively unconcerned about the cost of living there. Especially because we have Dark Judas just, like, waiting in the wings. That time I cared because it's four bombs. I'm not sure if you know this, but four bombs is twice as many as two bombs. And as a result, I think it was uh, a very shrewd move for us that time to pick up those. Plus, it has absolutely nothing to do with the fact that those were on the way to the exit. I assure you, that's a, that is a slanderous lie. My laziness knows no bounds. Get dusted. And then you find me the secret room. And then you find me the secret room. And then you don't find me the secret room. I got a demon heart out of a skull. I don't know why. <laughs> I kind of backed myself into a corner there because I was like, we got a demon heart out of a skull. And then in my head, I was like, yeah, that's what they can drop. So, like, it's not really that big of a deal, is it? Not, not that unusual, anyway. The gaz, great rune, joker, two of hearts, eh, basically irrelevant, but... Ghost baby? You want a mediocre item, here is ghost babe. You can get it from a deal with the devil if you don't fight him, it, fight him in this case is, uh, Krampus, it is ghost, babe. Negligible damage. <laughs> Gives no advantage. Ghost, baby, woohoo. Probably bottom third of items, ghost, baby. Okay, the DuckTales thing is just not working. We're forcing it, it's a bad, it's a bad look. But you gotta give me a second to like have in enjoyment on this run because it's gonna be over before we know it. It's like Adam Doritz of the Counting Crows said originally. Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. They paved paradise, put up a parking lot. But I gotta be honest with you. I understand that the song's called, well, it might be called, you know, parking lot or something like that. But the song says we paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Have you ever tried to drive in a downtown city core? Sometimes paradise is a parking lot. If you don't want to parallel park, you know, on the intersection of West 4th and Broadway in the middle of rush hour, sometimes a parking lot can be paradise. I'm not saying we should be paving over, you know, farmers and farmers who are putting away that DDT and not caring about spots on their apples. Leave me the birds and the bees, please. I'm just saying. The sentiment of the song rings true, except for the fact that I, I think they should just add an addendum like, Don't it always seem to go? You don't know what you got till it's gone. We paved paradise and put up a parking lot, but there's no reason to come here because a parking lot can be good in busy places. It even sounds better that way, and I will accept no dissent. I also like, I don't mean to be rude. Because you can play this game all day. And what I mean by that is like, you know, people will be like, Oh, I'm a vegetarian because I don't want to harm animals. Oh, have you ever worn a piece of clothing that has leather in it? Have you ever used a lawnmower? Did you not a 
accidentally kill many birds, or well, not birds, but bugs with your lawnmower without even knowing. So you could be like, yeah, well, Adam Duritz and, you know, Vanessa Carlton or Michelle Branch, I don't remember who. I know Joni Mitchell did it originally, but Joni Mitchell's like an actual hippie, so I'm going to cut her some slack, but, um, like, I want to, if Adam Duritz is going to get all the credit for saying, oh, everyone goes, oh, he's so right, why are we paving paradise putting up a parking lot? I want to see this dude, like, what do you drive? If you drive a Ford F-150, we gotta talk, Adam, because I don't think you should legally be allowed to sing that song anymore. But I'm a big fan of Mother Nature. Also, I fly 90 times a year. And this is not me doing some whataboutism, because, uh, you know, I fly a lot, but I'm also not taking your money for a song called We Pay Paradise and Put Up a Parking Lot. I want to compare carbon footprints with Adam Duritz. Because I think he might be a charlatan. That's all I'm suggesting, okay? I'm not trying to be rude to the man, I'm just suggesting that his art is a lie. And he shouldn't be allowed to sing the song anymore, unless he has a lower carbon footprint than me. Because that's the way I measure the size of my genitals. Carbon footprint? More like carbon. Wait a minute! Okay, I thought I was being a genius there. Red Mom is gonna be a dang old nightmare to fight here. How do we do this? It's it's not that bad, actually. Please, come closer. It actually is exactly that bad. A single orbital would cause this to be so much easier at this point. This is what we've been saving our bombs for. Our garbanzos. Oh, that would have been good. Almost got her. It wasn't worth taking damage there. That damage was accidental, though. Come on. There we go. Well, I hated just about every second of that fight. Let's uh, compromise our run potentially by needlessly taking some items that add very little to our overall chances here. I'm not going to fight Boss Rush because, I mean, come on. Instead, we're just going to move along. We've, oh, you know what? This is our final floor, so we're actually in a great spot. There was no need... Truly, to take our deal with the devil on the last, or to take the deal with the devil items rather on the last floor. Obviously, you want to check the deal, like, like the same way you check the rhyme tip if you're on point. That's right. Back in the days, in the Boulevard of Linden, we used to kick routines, and their presence was fitting. It was I, the FIFA, and me, the abstract. The rhymes were so potent that I think he says the brothers rode the Zack. I don't know what that, that's usually you look it up on Rap Genius and then they go, well, Q-Tip grew up in the Boulevard of Linden and the the A train in the neighborhood is called the Zack. And like that means that they went home. Well, let's see, you know. So that's check the rhyme uh, genius. Okay, check the rhyme. I know we used to kick routines and the presence was fitting. I know he kicks the mad style so, so step off the Frankfurt. Yeah, the rhymes were so rumpin' that the brothers rode the Zack. There's no genius annotation for that one. Or I can't see it because I have flash disabled. Oh, here we go. The tribe's rhymes were so fantastic that everyone on the block was on their jock. Bozak is hood, hood slang for ball sack. The rhymes were so rumpin' that the brothers rode the Zack. Dude, I never would have expected that um, when they say the rhymes were so rumpin', the brothers rode the Zack. What they're actually saying is the rhymes were so rumpin', the brothers rode their ball sacks. That's out of control. Honestly, I thought this was a PG-13 rated uh, Tribe Called Quest stream here, and all of a sudden, talking about riding ball sacks, I'm not sure if... This is advertiser friendly anymore. It's one of my favorite recurring segments in Isaac episodes is 
Northern Lion looks up lyrics to rap songs on Rap Genius and finally discovers what they actually mean. I think it's a valuable part of my growth as a human being to learn what I've been, you know, rapping in the privacy of my own car. I don't rap in the privacy of my own home because my wife would hear me and laugh at me. Instead, I wait till I buy groceries by myself and then I, you know... This is it, what? Lucini pouring from the sea? <laughs> or as I call it, the Giesling Special. Okay, we got our secret room here. We're kind of, I mean, we're, we're killing time, to be honest with you, because we're gonna win. We got two bosses to fight. If we die, we come back as Dark Judas, I think. I think that was this run. So I just, re by the way, don't hate me. I just realized that with Dr. Fetus, you actually can press the space bar <laughs> to, to blow up the bombs whenever you want. It's a great time to figure that out. Um, that would have made the fight against Regular Mom so much easier. Regular Mom, also my favorite show on the Hallmark Network. So yeah, we, we could have done a lot better on this run, but... I mean, we need 17 minutes to do this one, 14 minutes to do Cat Guy Your Tongue. Like, pretty good runs here. I am not gonna fight Hush. They're not even gonna give us the option. But, dude, productive episode. We got a Chaos card for that. Also, a valuable unlock for now. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys have enjoyed the episode. If you did, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And, of course, subscribe if you wanna see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.